Why has this happened? Out of all the things to happen, we're having the greatest, maybe the greatest season in franchise history. And our best player goes down with injury. The basketball gods are a cruel mistress. But you know what? We have a pretty decent um, backup. Small forward. Obviously, there are questions in our darkest hours. But, you know, we got to find a way to push through. And I think we will. Oh, shut up, Giannis Pop. Stop being so annoyed at me. <laughs> Sorry that I sent you to the Geely, okay? I didn't think you'd get so angry. Okay. All right. Let's let's see how we do. Regardless of. Oh no. Oh no. It's the beginning of the end. Knock on wood. Oh my god. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to pay, play through it. We don't. We don't have a choice. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we won some games. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. Phew. We're on a three-game winning streak. We're five games ahead. Well, 4.5 games ahead of the Kings for the number one seed. Let's see who's scoring for us in these games. Crowder. Crowder and Hansen in that game. Hanson and Bradley in that game. And Fox and Hanson. Hanson is is coming up big for us as of late. He's having his best year in the NBA. Or should I say my best year? It sounds weird saying that. Um Okay, we got five more games until the trade deadline. Is there anyone we wanna even think about moving? I don't know why we would. Uh I mean, we're having, like I said, the best year in our franchise's history. I'm not, I'm not convinced we need to make a trade, honestly. Luke Kennard, Yeet, Vgurovic, Yeet, Ia Zubash, or whatever his name is. Ia, I don't even know if that's his name. Czech Diallo, Yeet. Sebastio <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. That's just an injury thing. Uh... Let's see how this young guy did. Hey, he did pretty good. Seven points per game in uh, just 17 minutes. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we go to the trade deadline and the all-star break with a loss. But we're completely healthy again. So that's a positive. Well, we're not completely healthy again, are we? That one guy is. That one guy is. We still have our best player suffering a severe right ankle sprain for one to two more weeks. But... Um, he has the all-star break to heal up. Let's take a look at contract extensions. Dylan Hansen will resign. Covington will resign. Okay, let's resign Covington to the minute. Uh, we have to make a decision on Hansen now. Let's take a look at what people will will offer. There's no offers for Hansen. What if we threw in a pick? No one wants Hanson. No one wants me. I'm still unwanted. Oh, it's because he's got the no trade clause. How did he get a no trade clause? When did that happen? What lunatic gave him a no trade clause? I'm, I'm, I literally want to go back and watch every single episode to see at what point did I give him a no trade clause. When did? Why did I think that was a good idea? 
So it's either we sign him to a con, we either sign, we either pay him nine million dollars for to be a backup point guard on a team that's already got just crazy amounts of money going out to people. We can't, we can't pay him, we can't pay him, uh, so we lose him for nothing, pretty much. Oh, who gave him a no trade clause? I don't remember doing that. I don't remember having the thought. Yeah, I'll give you a no trade clause. Oh, it's got to be some scam or something where it was just like on the contract and I didn't read it. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> that's my excuse for my stupidity. <sighs> well, that's cool. Um, or we could just sign him. I mean, we would be... Uh, who else comes off the books? Jay Crowder. Covington will resign for the minimum, so that's fine. But would I rather have Crowder or Hanson? I guess Hanson. I'm not going to sign him, though. Not yet. I will sign Covington one year to the minimum. I'm fine with that, but I can't pay Hanson. I can't pay Hanson $10 million. Are you sure no one even wants to see it? If he'd go for it, nah, he's just like, nah, I'm not not leaving. Why would I leave this team? We might win a title. Why would I leave this team? I'm not crazy. <sighs> I'm not racist. Check out that song. Uh, link nowhere, because I'm probably not allowed to link to other people's stuff. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's, I don't think we want to make a trade. We could try to, no. That's not happening. No, that's not happening. No. 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 Wait, hold on. No. 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 All right, let's sim through the trade deadline. I shouldn't do this trade, I shouldn't do it because It's going to screw up our chemistry. I'm not going to do this trade. I can't be tempted by the demons. Would you like to stop? No. I, I've made my decision on our roster. It is final. I'm going to sim. Jason Tatum is back, which is fantastic. That's all I wanted to hear. At least it's not Tatum again. Okay. Okay. And it means that we get to we get to play our guy Yanni Poppy. All right, there you go, Yanni Poppy. Um, make sure everything's good. Let's do our best not to lose the number one seed, guys. Come on, for goodness' sake. Well, I'm definitely not paying you now. You've ruined your chance to get a paycheck, my boy. <laughs> Someone's gonna pay him. Someone's gonna pay him some crazy money. Let's see, we got Jason Tatum. And that's it? Come on, guys. Uh, 
I guess so. I guess so. Um, we got nobody in the. Uh, how was Alonzo Ball 91 overall? Uh. Wow, this guy's crazy. Good for the Rockets, though. Paul Pierce Jr. He's already a... Ah! <laughs> He's already a 95 overall. Uh, <laughs> um... Okay. We're not going to do the all-star stuff. We're just going to sim to the end of the year. No, we're going to do... We're going to sim to this Aces game. Or do we want to play this Aces game? Nah, let's not play. Let's, let's not play another game in the regular season, at least. Sure, we'll win it, right? Yikes. Okay. Uh, Sim to here. Okay, Hanson's back. That's great. Wait, let's just make sure the starting lineup's all good. Just in case 2K wants to pull a quick one by me. Leave it as it is. Yep, he's fine. Okay. We are tied currently, somehow. How are we tied? We have less percentage. Uh, whatever. I won't pay attention to that. Get some to here. A, A, big win streak. A, A. Big win streak, a. Hey. <laughs> the heck was that? Uh, big win streak, boys. Okay. So we're gonna clinch the division at very least, because the other person, the next best person in our division, is maybe gonna be the eighth seed. But. Even that's in question. What if we were the only one from our division to make the playoffs? That'd be crazy. We just dominate our division that much. We are like a juggernaut, though. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, let's simulate to here. Uh, Jay Crowder. He's going to play through it. Even though we probably shouldn't going up to the playoffs. We should probably rest, guys. But <sighs> this is 2K. You don't rest people. Uh, it would be awesome if they had a feature where you could automatically like, hey, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna sit this person for a game. There is a way to do that probably, and I just don't, I'm just not smart enough to know about it. Okay, let's see. Um, hey, the Suns have become a contender late in the year. Okay, Jason Tatum, you're gonna play through it. Still winning games. Okay, so. I think we'd have to lose both of these two games and the Suns... Oh, wait, no. The Suns are 55 and 25. It is very important to me that we seal home court advantage throughout the playoffs. So, I do want to take a look at the East, though. Yeah, we're good. Oh, wow. The Boston Celtics are not going to make the playoffs. Have you seen their roster? They have Marco Fultz, Devin Booker, Jalen uh, Brown. They have Ante Zizic, who's usually always good this late into the game. Okay, let's 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 do this. Okay, uh, the Celtics. We have to uh, come on, guys. Come on. We gotta just blow this team off the court. We got to. We gotta get home court advantage. Come on, guys. Come on. You can do it. I believe. I believe in a thing called home credit advantage. Come on. So close. Yes, my boys. Okay. Okay. One more game, guys. One more game. One more game and we got it. Just give, just give us one more game. All right. Let's do this. Home court. 
at our at home for the final game of the year. Oof, this isn't looking good. Uh, let's let's take a look. Marcus Smart. A a late lead grab. Just realized some thoughts. A a. <laughs> oh my God. Dylan Hansen played great this year, so we may, who knows, we might, we might get him. So, we nailed the number one seed at Boom. It was ours to lose, and we won it. Okay. James Harden wins MVP. Zaza Gore, oh yeah, he finally is here. He's finally 26, 93 overall rookie. He's finally here. Plays for the defending champions. Still salty to say that. Uh, Son Whiteside, Defensive Player of the Year. Charlie Leonard, Most Improved Player. Somehow he's averaging like the same exact stats, except his three-point percentage is a bit better, and his, he's averaging like one more assist. That makes total sense. He's actually averaging less blocks. So, Most Improved, of course. Um, how? Oh my gosh, our coach got absolutely robbed. How? We have a rookie coach and he won 58 games. That's just insensitive, honestly. Um, a defensive boy. Okay. Another defense. Uh, no. Uh, all NBA boy. All NBA boy. All right. Number one seed. Going up against the how did he get how did he get league MVP on the eighth best team in the West? Come on, bro. The league can't rate you like that. <laughs> God, that sounded so uh, so un unreal, unreal. I couldn't believe it myself if I was even laughing. All right. That's where I'm going to end today's episode. Um, huh. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep me going on. I'll see you next time, and I hope you're enjoying the series. Bye.